Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent, past, immediate future, potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Piscean, so do check out your replacements, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. Um, once again, thank you for the continued support, likes, shares, subscribes, comments, it all helps the channel grow, it's much blue. Which, which appreciated and um, description box has all the details you need private read information links to patreon um, for full access to all extended individual access through Vimeo and um, Instagram link to see photos of the spread okay Pisces what have we got one more Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Love is in the air. Something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past. Immediate future. Potential outcome. Okay, the Emperor, the Page of Cups, the Five of Cups. I think some divine masculine type of energy, um, or the Emperor, just you know, somebody could be somebody who works for themselves. I almost feel like somebody's. having second thoughts about the way they treated you. But Pisces has left the building. There's a lot of eyes on you here. So we've got the Ace of Cups. What we're aware of is the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a mess messenger of some kind. So there could be somebody... I almost feel like somebody's contemplating reaching out. But you're taking your love elsewhere. What you're not aware of is the Two of Cups. Somebody's having regrets, I kind of feel like here. Your concentration is on you. You're ready to balance your masculine and feminine energies and that's going to bring you into full alignment <clears throat> with what you want and what you need. Strong to talk, Mercury Retrograde. Today's already done me earlier with the live read. Apologies for anybody that uh, got cut off. So, Page of Wands, what are you aware of? Not aware of Two of Cups. Recent past is the Three of Swords. So there's been pain here. This is why I feel like this person is regretting some sort of, you know, they're having nightmares about this situation. Um, possibly wanting reconciliation. But you're choosing you. They could be debating reaching out, or maybe you've been debating reaching out. I'm looking at the page of wands holding that wand. And the immediate future is the seven of ones. The one one plus the seven is the eight of ones, which is communication. But I kind of feel like there's a lot of energies coming at you at the moment. So there's a need to defend your energy, you know. Um, protect your energies. If you're an empath, which I kind of feel like you possibly are, <clears throat> you're going to get a lot of narcissistic energies towards you. Um, because it's their natural progression, because they see weakness in somebody that's em empathic. But you can be empathic with barriers and the ability to tell people where to go. The outcome is the Ace of Cups. This is you moving on, taking that Ace of Cups to go, in f to go find the Ninth Cup, that wish fulfillment. 
And incidentally, a balance is achieved when the masculine and the feminine, the yin and the yang, come together. And this is what you're doing. You're tackling your um, your moon aspects, which is the um, the feminine. Um, very, you know, you could have a Cancer moon possibly with the um, crab there. It doesn't have to be, but somebody very intuitive anyway. You've kind of nailed that aspect, and you're going in search of that sun that's rising. The sun is the other part to the uh, aspect, which is the masculine, which is the emperor. So yeah, somebody's having regrets. I don't think you're bothered anymore. You're protecting your energy. Uh, you're moving on because you're more concerned about bringing complete balance to you. And when you do that, nobody can stop you because your vibration will be so high that um, you'll be just attracting bigger and better things. And don't get caught up in genders. We all have masculine and feminine energies. Um, you know, it could be a divine masculine that's disappointed, but there is there's many divine masculines that are female. You know, or whatever you uh, uh, associate with. It's like realising, I almost feel like something's happened, maybe it's a message that comes in with a page of wands, but something's happened to trigger you to think, you know what, I don't actually need anybody else to complete me, complete myself, and anything else is just a bonus. And when you do that, you give yourself a power that nobody can take away. So let's see, three more. Right. Perfect. The Ancestor card with the Ten of Swords, Six of Wands and the Eight of Wands. You, if you're new to the channel, two extra cards came in the deck peel for artwork. Uh, this is my Ancestor card. Um, you, you're ending generational habits, generational curses, if you want to use the word. Um, and they are so proud of you. Because you, you're the one that's breaking that line. So... We've got the Ace of Cups with the Three of Swords. It's taken this pain of the past, all these hurts. It's taken all these hurts for you to re- I've shown you the uh, Two of Swords. Ah <laughs> oh dear, not with it today. So this is the recent past by the way. The Three of Swords with the uh, the Two of Swords. Um, so the recently, I, I kind of feel like you're looking at your past hurts extre- very different. You know, you look at it from a, a fresh perspective, um, which is good, um, and you're utilising that pain to actually heal your heart chakra, to reopen it. You're seeing where what was hidden behind that pain. You know, maybe a situation where you hid from your pain to a certain degree. What you're aware of is the Page of Wands with the Emperor. So again, this Divine Masculine aspect of things. It could be messages coming from them. Uh, but what you're not aware of is the Two of Cups with the Three of Wands. Your subconscious now just wants the balance within yourself. Um, and the Three of Wands indicates that when you do that, your ships come in. But not just that, the Three of Wands is also here to say that you see the bigger picture. You're seeing everything much more clearer. The immediate future, we have the Seven of Wands defending your energies because there's a lot more options out there. Seven of Wands and Seven of Cups. This is 
beating them off with a stick. But it's also just analysing your options here, choosing carefully, listening to your intuition, seeing red flags and acting upon it. And then that outcome is the Eight of Cups. This is where you go in search of that balance, go in search of that sunrise, which ticks off the uh, the masculine aspect. Um, armed with your Ace of Cups, this new found love for yourself to reach the Nine of Cups. Um, but it's clarified by the Four of Swords. This is bringing yourself peace, moving away from hassle, moving away from pain, and bringing peace. You might be seeing two, three, four a lot, or one, two, three, four. It means you're on the right path. We've got three, three, three here, 77, 44, 444. Four. Lots of um, synchronicities. It's basically saying you are on the right path, Pisces. Keep doing what you're doing. The more that you work on yourself, the more these options start appearing. And it's all because you're literally levelling up, going up all these levels. And now your ancestors are proud. You're breaking generational curses, so anything that attacks you now is getting blocked. I love it. Pisces, in the extended we're going to look at what this search for new is going to bring. We're going to look at the options. Okay. Could be healing father wounds, especially with the emperor here twice. Um, but we're just going to get another aspect to this. And yeah, I kind of just see peace coming. I like it. Okay. You could be dealing with or having your chart. Very strong Aries. That's it. We've only got Aries for the uh, major arcanas. But we've got swords. We've got cups. We've got wands. Do we have any pentacles? I'm sure I saw the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, straight after the Fire of Disc, the Ace of Pentacles. New opportunities, right next to the, actually the Seven of Cups as well. So, could be a business opportunity coming for you. The more you raise your vibrations. Uh, there could be distance travel as well for you. Three of Swords, especially the Eight of Cups travelling over water. Either way, you're going to find peace. So I like it. So if you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, Pisces, look after yourselves. Uh, let me know if it resonates, and I'll see you soon.